here's my guest, one of my favorite guests from the past. The audio star source is back for more. She must I must have really done something right or wrong because you keep coming back. <laughs> I guess I've done something right too because you keep inviting me. I don't know why, but I well, why not? Every I like the thing is, okay. So here's the thing about you. You have done something very difficult to do. You have made yourself an independent in an industry, especially with the way things are going today, right? You have made yourself you've you've made yourself a lucrative household name. That is an impressive feat, no matter how you look at it, right? So I mean that, I mean, kudos to you. I mean, I, I've been I've been freelancing for three years. I, I noticed so, and in my third year, here's what I've realized: it's all about confidence. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have to believe that people want what you're what you're selling, which is yourself and your skill set, and yeah. you know you have to believe that they want that. Mm -hmm. And you know, we all go through those moments of like, yeah, do they really? If they really knew. You know, I've done such a good job of puffing myself up, but I'm not really that, or they call it what, the imposter syndrome or the afraid of being great and all that stuff. But you cut past the the BS and just get to um, the meat of it, which is like, no, I, I do have something to say. I do have a voice. I, I do have something to offer and, um, and I'm excited about it. And I'm excited to share it with other people. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's kind of how the company, you know, started. I realized like, wow, I could really do this. Never thinking that I would ever own a company, ever, like never, because my family had a company and it failed. So I was like, <laughs> like, you know, I'll never do it. And I'll never do it. And then you're like, and then you're looking at God, uh, stop laughing. Just, just yeah, stop. Right, exactly. Stop, totally. stop laughing. I'm like, uh -huh, I get it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, I mean, there are reasons why businesses fail too. I think, I think everything has a finite shelf life. That's part. Sure. Sometimes I think, I think everything does. Um, the objective, that way I, I put it is like this. The objective isn't, you can't control how far you succeed. Something I realized very early on. Um, but the thing is, we have this tendency to put roadblocks in front of us. This goes back to the confidence thing. So um, when I started, I was worried about fucking this up, which is the yeah. worst attitude to absolutely have. Absolutely. You do it. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. I think it's normal to start when you start that way, right? Yeah. It's normal, but it's the worst attitude to have, right? Because no. it, it, it doesn't open the door the way you want it to. No. Um, in 2021, um, I did the odd temp job while I was trying to freelance, right? Trying to work at this. And then uh, I got fired I, for no, actually, this one, no real reason. Just that they let me go. And, um, I, I went home and I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? This is just gonna I'm just gonna make this work. No matter what, ups and downs, ups, rights. And it was a mind shift. And right then and there, I made um I made more money that week than just about any other week other than last month. Right. So it was just like one of those confirmation reward things. Um, right. So like so that that's when the mind shift started to change. <clears throat> going one step further this year um what i just realized is just the more confident i am and oddly this was this is the weird thing everybody that's bought in my services has bought the most expensive one it's not what i expected right yeah. I, I, or it's not what i expected but but what that told me really simply was um i should just focus on either that that that's just, I, that's a car. I'm assuming or a truck. Right I'm sorry. There. I should have put it on mute. I apologize. Let me. I will do that next time. There's a truck. I'm so sorry about all this. Like, well, at least it's nice and sunny and pretty. So. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I'm a little jealous. I, I mean, Calgary has gotten nice and sunny and pretty today, but we still got snow on the ground. Whereas you. Really? Snow. Well, see, I'm oh, jealous. Yeah. I want the snow. I mean, I love the sun. Don't get me wrong. I want the snow. We didn't oh, really is, get is, it. I'm not sure you want it as cold as we get it here, though. Really? That's right. Right. We we get to minus forty. Whoa! But yeah. I love like I'm all romantic about the cold and having your coffee beside the window and watching the snow fall. And it's never that it doesn't end up being. <laughs> well, well, no, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. Snow is beautiful, and you can have a lot of fun with it. But I think I think where right. you're at is probably a little bit more tolerable than say where I'm, I'm at. Sure where... Negative forty is very cold. Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's ridiculously cold, right? So, okay, so uh, big money. Your biggest money project. Your um, your high scale. Uh, projects yeah. right yeah 
Yeah. So, so what I, what I learned was it, again, I didn't expect this. It's like they either buy the really low end, just, I want a video or a couple videos, or they want the big package and nothing in the middle. So I'm like, okay, lesson learned. I'm just going to get rid of the packages in the middle because no one's wants them anyway. And go high or low. And if I, if someone wants a middle ground somewhere, we can make a deal, right? Which is totally go. fine. Yeah. Right. That's, that's totally fine. Right. So this is one of those things where I just learned it's like, so I should just probably like, you know, um, just build something. And like I said, I've been, I've been, I don't know if you've been watching it. Like, like I post like the videos I'm making. Uh -huh. Um, I posted one of them on my Facebook this morning, which is basically a, uh, branding profiles thing for the for a comic book series oh cool right? no i haven't yeah. seen it yeah so you'll you'll see them they've got all kind of a similar okay. they're similar beat um the cool thing about what i'm doing is it, it creates I, I think advertising is one of the most bulletproof things in any economy mm -hmm. because it, it ever if you're in a good economy advertising just serves to let people know you're out there if you're in a bad economy you actually want to advertise more because again even even if uh, even if um money's tight if people have eventually do get money they're going to look at whatever there is they're going to invest in and if you're if they know you're there they'll go to you oh yeah we're all about saturation <laughs> we're like, absolutely we're yeah, everywhere absolutely. everywhere 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 <laughs> absolutely so like like you said it's a bullet like so it's one of the most bulletproof um it's one of the most bullet it, it can't pieces. hurt it can't hurt you ever no as long as you know what you're doing, it, it can't hurt you. Yeah. And, and like I said, worst case scenario with this, I've created like something that's evergreen. They have a brand now, which is like they can actually put on their website and stuff like that. Yeah. So people know who, who there are. Worst, I mean, best case scenario. I mean, I, I, I each each video has had about a thousand views, which again, isn't a huge amount, but still not great. bad. Yeah, it's a great start. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so it, 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 it's it's been it's been a growth thing. So I'm doing that. I, I'm doing ghostwriting for a blog for a client. I'm doing another. I'm making a series for another client. So I produce building a stuff. series. Tell yeah. What what is so talk to me. what's that? It's a, it's an educational massage therapy series. So the idea the idea behind it is um, I'm trying to get my friend my client more more clients for herself. Mm -hmm. Right. She's at that point in her life where. Um, she shouldn't be going to all the different clinics. She should be make, creating her own space for it, right? Okay. And um, so um, we're creating, again, so the idea behind the series is twofold. Create a series, get her comfortable. Like I've been teaching her like how to be good in public, which is a weird uh, side effect of what I'm doing. It's like, because she, she wasn't comfortable at all. And it's been fun to watch her slowly, but surely become more and more comfortable in front of the camera. Right. Yeah. right. It's, it's been it's been fun. And she needs this because if she's going to teach, if she's going to do presentations for conferences and stuff like that, she has to get used to it. Right. It's an important part of her development. But the other part of it is, OK, so once the series is done, I can take all the footage here and create a course for her. Mm -hmm. So, nice. yeah. So that's the idea behind it. it's twofold. It, it, I don't know if she's going to get like the big giant YouTube members. I have no idea. Sure. I, I don't. I don't make those promises, but um, she's gonna have a service where people can see what she does and what she her skill set and what she works on and all that stuff. And she can see you can see her public appearance and her persona, and and you can see a little bit of who she is and, and what she's doing. And because again, people invest in people. That that's just that's just how it works. It does. It's oh, yeah. not really the service. It's the people. Oh, so, there's no question. When um, and I really, felt that, I mean, <clears throat> I, I mean, I've always known that, I guess, since like I'm working retail and all that, you know, you have to approach the person like a person as opposed to like, I really need you to buy this sweater so I can get my, you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. have to just, so what is it that they're looking for? What is it that they need? And, and that, that connection, I know that when I was in Denver, the organic stuff was the best. So yeah. someone would come over you know, and maybe they had like a hockey shirt on and be like, oh, hockey, that's so cool. You know, my girls are going to hockey. Like it starts out as like a simple exchange. And then before you know it, like actually these, there were two ladies, it was really cool. They had, um, when you go to a convention, I don't know if you've ever, I had never been, people okay. wear these little lanyards and one says like author, or, you know, if you're a narrator or whatever, or attendee yeah. and attendee, it means like you're a reader yeah. uh, or, you know, a listener. Um, there's said attendee. So 
so we had no idea that we were speaking to authors, you know, which could be potential clients for us, right? So it was a very organic uh, exchange that we Absolutely. had. And then the next thing you know, it was like, yeah, we're having trouble with audio and sort of finding that. Sp and we're like, what? You know, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, it, 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 it's, it's sales. Ultimately, I realize this is relationship building. That's what yeah. it is. It's relationship it's building. Yes. And and storytelling. That's sales. That's that yes. that is that is sales. That's that's sales in a nutshell. That's what sales is. It's not. I'm actually like like something I I, I, I keep when I interview authors on the show, is I'm really surprised that a lot of them struggle with this because it, I would think it would be in their wheelhouse because it's storytelling right yeah and you just right right it, it just it's storytelling that's all it is it's not rocket science it's not like it, it it it's just can you tell a compelling enough story that people are paying attention looking at your stuff and and, and i mean can you get a click right yeah right right can you get a click and and the way you do that is is you come across like a human being and what happens is people go okay he's a he's a human being and he's actually halfway entertaining Right. And that's, and that's, that's it. That, that's, that it, it's, it is surprisingly not hard, but it is, I, I, again, but authors struggle with this and I do for the life of me. Now, maybe again, I mean, I podcast, maybe this is why I, I, I was just like, going to say, I think to a lot of authors, and I'm sure you are too, you're probably both. You're probably an introvert and an extrovert. Yes. Know? A little bit As both. a writer. And I think that not all authors, I, I would say a lot of authors are introverts and I'm not mm. a lot of them have that extrovert side. They're introverts. And yeah. I, so I think it probably makes it more difficult to you know, do that stuff in front of a camera and feel comfortable. I mean, I'm an actor and sometimes I still feel. Oh, sure, sure. You know, so, or even in front of people. I mean, I was very nervous. Oh my gosh. I, you're, okay, here's how nervous I was about the convention. So I was like, I need to have a jacket. I'm going to Denver, Colorado, right? It's very cold there. So this is like 4.30 in the morning. I don't sleep because I'm so nervous. Um, so I'm up, I'm up. I'm looking, I'm looking at, you know, I've got my jacket and then I'm like, no, I can't bring a jacket. I can't bring a parka. That'll look dumb. That'll look stupid. I'll look stupid. I can't do that. So I put, you know, put the parka back, get in the car, all the bags are packed, everything. I get in the car, drive halfway out the driveway and go, oh my gosh, I'm going to Denver, Colorado. I don't have a jacket. I was like, I gotta have a jacket. So I go back inside, go to get the parka, leave the parka again and grab like a fuzzy sweatshirt. So I ended up in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> With in a fuzzy no sweatshirt. Jacket. No jacket in this fuzzy sweatshirt that doesn't go with anything. You know, because you're wearing business casual and you're... I brought my entire closet with me. I mean, when I say the most ridiculous size luggage, I could fit in my own luggage for like a oh. five-day for a five day trip. So you were smuggling. So, so you were... even though I am an act... Like, I've been on stage. I've been on camera. I've been... It, it, there's something about that face-to-face -face human beings that i don't know can be causing well, anxiety it, 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 there, there's a little bit of, I, I think i think one one of the side effects of the pandemic is i think there were a lot more anxious to be around people some of us um i think there's just there. <laughs> yeah but the truth but the truth of the matter is and there, there's just two things I've, I've learned like one of the reasons i'm going on my road trip the way i'm going on my road trip is i'm seeking adventure and connection and and i simply put we only have so much time with each other. Yeah. So, um, I, 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 that anxiety to me, now I understand it a little bit, but to me, that anxiety is a luxury I can no longer afford. If I want to make those connections, I have to let it go. From a, bus from a business standpoint, especially with the way the world works today, though, see, I, 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 nerves are good. I think, I think butterflies are, a perfectly healthy part of business. If yeah. you aren't nervous, if you aren't you nervous, work. yeah, you, the, the, you, I, I think you should quit. Like that, that's just yeah. the way I, that, yeah. that, I, I, just, I, I just think you should quit. Like that's just where I'm at. Yep. But you, but the thing is, right, um, there's nerves, but there's also this reality, okay, Marnie Young is an audiobook narrator and she's fantastic at it, but there's a lot of fantastic people out there. Exactly. If you don't put if you don't put yourself out there, yeah, right, you're gonna get lost in the shuffle. 
and I think I think the, rea- the reality of today is we li- we live in the social media age. Now there's good, there's bad, and there's ugly with with social media. But one of the I think overall g- good things about it is all of us can connect to each other. So that's good. That, but the thing is that comes with a little bit of a force. I don't necessarily need every part of your personal life, but you have to be willing to interact with your audience today. If you don't, if you don't, what ends up happening is they will go somewhere else because someone else again it's about skill level it's a lot closer today than it ever was in terms of skill levels mm-hmm. right because everybody's up, mm-hmm. up to be sure it's about, it's about the people you invest in and if you don't put yourself out there you're never gonna you're never gonna hit you're gonna deny yourself a lot of opportunity well that's why i was like you know i mean unfortunately it took me until my 40s but you know i mean I had an agent for a time, but I don't know if you saw, but I recently got picked up by an agent. Yeah, I saw. So here I am at 45 and I fucking got an agent and I'm so sure. happy because I was like, I'm 45. Like I have nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> so I might as well just go for it, you know? And, and, and yeah. agents, and, and again, agents, they're, I mean, there's, they're, depending on your goals, what your goals are, um, agents can be useful. They have access to doors you don't. Right. Yep. But but at the same time, that doesn't mean you stop either, because the reality, of the, the reality of the situation is, I mean, I've seen this. I mean, unfortunately, I've seen agents go and, and not be able to find what they're looking for for you, too. So you got sure. yeah, oh, yeah. You, so you got You got to create you got to create your own. Um, you got to again, you got to keep constantly. You have to keep hustling, essentially. I right. was just, I never stopped the hustle. The hustle, yeah. I should have a shirt that says like the hustle never ends. No, it and doesn't. I, no, I, I never no, I've already booked two more conventions, you know, because I know that I need to be out there. Our name needs to be out there. I need no, even though we have work coming in, like plenty of work coming in, I'm still you like, want, no. You want, you want to keep yeah. it going. Absolutely. Because, you get, because you, again, I'm at that point where I'm still kind of up. So my side gig right now, since you mentioned hockey, I mm-hmm. actually work for an NHL arena right now. Yeah. I didn't. How did I not know that? Or yeah. Like a so, Detroit Red Wings game. You know, I wish. I wish. I'm working yeah. for the. Cal- I'm working. I'm working for the Calgary Flames. Okay. Which, yeah. Which, I, you know what? Honestly, it's been a cool experience because everybody goes to that arena sooner or later, right? The mayor of the city goes there. The the, the newscasters go there. You get people like like me working there. Uh, I, I basically, I'm one of the people, I'm working in the warehouse, so I have access to all the beer, which is kind of cool, right? But, um, but it, Do it, they it, have chocolate, though? That's... that's oh, uh, yeah. I, I, okay, I'm not going to say... milk it. chocolate, so it's yeah. probably... No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's, it, so you got to understand, right? Their audiences are, are for, for certain things. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it, no, but I mean, I mean... So they might make the playoffs. They're very, like they're close, but they're not okay. guaranteed. Yeah. They make the play if they make the playoffs. I would like to see it once because I get the feeling I'm not going to be there next year because I think I think I'm going to be on the road next year. Going to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So do people know about what your plans are. Did you tell? Yeah, yeah, oh, a few people do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm launching. Um, I think it's going to be May. It. It's going to be May. I think I'm going to be launching a Patreon for it. I've already started to contact sponsors for this. Um. It's I'm I, I have four months, but that's not as much time as people think, right? It, it's yeah. not really it's yeah. not a lot of time. And uh, like I said, I I again I have a, a date I'd like to leave. Now, it may, again, it may not work out that way. Like there's a reality of it might take me a little longer to go, but I am going. It's just you I've made it. You're gonna do it. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I think so. I think so. And, and I know. Yeah. No, I, I think so. It, it may again. I, I'm a big enough man to knowledge. It might not be exactly when I want to. Sure. But it 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 will happen. And when it does, I I will be all over the place and looking for, again for that adventure and connection I'm seeking right throughout. So that's the goal. That's the um. How do I put this? That is what I want. So that's that's what I'm doing. And while I'm on the road, you know, doing what I'm doing, I can work anywhere with what I'm doing. So I can always, I can always, I can always, I can always work. I can stop, like again, stopping at all these cool places on the way, and 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 you know maybe doing like travel articles here and there. I I, I haven't fully nailed this plan down, but I have I have an idea. So we're gonna see how it all plays out. But yeah, 
I mean, this is 945. It's like, I don't have that many more episodes to go, like 55 to go. And then I, I hit 1,000. I'll probably do like 10 more or something like that afterwards. But it, it's done. Right? You know what 1,000. I mean? Did you ever think that you would, did you ever see? Like I, I did. Uh, I did when I started on Twitch. Because I realized, I real because I started working a lot more regularly when I was on Twitch. And I realized that it was possible because I, I was doing, I did it, when I started Twitch was for episode 450, two years ago, right? Yeah, right. So that, that's where I was. Like episode 450 was my last of the audio era, right? So I was doing, I ended up back at three weeks. Three seems to be the magic sweet spot, mm -hmm. right? Four is too much somehow, but three is just right. I, I'm not completely sure why that is, but that is the way it is. Um, but what what's happened is yeah um yeah i started speaking to regular people because i realized again the first thing you got to figure out as a freelancer is what's your niche well i have a big i have a big mouth it's good right that's it's a good why we thing. get along so well yeah i used to be so, called motor mouth my dad used to call me motor because it's like, dip, 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 dip. that's okay yeah it's okay it's okay I it right? work. yeah it, it, and you know what it's it, it's why you're so personable with people people are like oh she's confident <laughs> You know, she may not feel it in that moment. It's like, please like me, but I mean, it's still <laughs> like, you, right? But, 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 what I've learned it like again. I realized after I did a year of it, which was twenty twenty one, and I realized I think I'm gonna hit, I think I'm gonna hit a thousand. Now, will I hit two thousand? I don't know. That one, that one feels a bit. I don't know, but. A thousand? No, I knew. I had I had a hundred hit a thousand, right? So, wow. I, I, I I did like three hundred in a year. So I went from four fifty to seven fifty. I'm like, I think I can do it. Yeah, I did three hundred in a year. Wow. Yeah. All the relation, all the connections you've made, the people that you've met from all over. That's yeah. I can't even imagine. That's that's been the fun. Like like it, I I'm trying to get some big names for episode one thousand. We'll see if I get them or not. But mm -hmm. I mean. I have no problem trying and going for stuff, right? I, I again, I'm confident enough to ask. I'm confident enough yep. to go for it. I'm confident enough to handle no's. Um, I'm also confident enough not to wait, right? Sure. And that's also, that, that's a big, yeah, exactly, not mm -hmm. to wait. Nope. Um, I, it, it's it's been a process the whole way through. And one of the things that again, I'm not where I want, and I'm still not quite where I want to be financially yet. But, but. I mean, I've re I've been regularly hitting on average a grand a month. Again, not huge numbers, but not that's terrible. Great. That's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, that's not terrible. Um, you know, last month I hit I hit a I hit a lot higher. I almost hit living wage actually last month. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I mean I hoping I I can maintain this. But again, it's the constant hustle, the grind, the confidence. Go out there and, and see what's there and and expanding my pool um and like maybe i get myself another series i'm producing or working on or maybe i get myself that's the other thing too most of it's stable clients not not like not like one and done so that's fantastic i mean that's what you want i mean that's that's yeah. our, our company too is that we have these clients that just they're so prolific and they just series after series and they're using us for all their audio which is amazing and yeah exactly and then once you once you get yourself locked into those kind of deals you you're, you you're, you can really start to make some headway so i mean yeah no i was just gonna say i mean you make yours i know they say everyone is disposable but in a way you make yourself indispensable because like they're the only people that you you're the only people they want to do your audio you're the only people they trust to come to and then they refer their friends to you so before you know it you've got this big, like you said of these repeat clients that keep you know it's a, a, a stable thing and then they bring other people to you it's it's really wonderful yeah it, it's a process though like it, it's a real process it, it doesn't happen overnight and no you know, i know yeah yeah and, that, and that's thing, I'm, that. still, I'm still in that like part like there's still moments where i'm like hey and then poof and then hey and then poof right because that's that's part of that but again that's part of the deal like i i knew what i was signing up for when i did yeah. this right so um a lot of people went to me like this is hard but it's like honestly it this is better like honestly i don't miss employment like i legitimately don't miss it and 
it's it's making my own income versus being someone else's passive income is like big 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 difference it's i want my huge. own it's very empowering and i think that like what you and i do similar in that like um where you're like empowering your client you know this massage therapist you're empowering her i you know i get to em empower these like sort of newbie you know they're amazing actors but they've never done an audiobook and i'm like but you can do this and look at this avenue for you this is a great way to use your skill set and empower being able to cast them and even forming my company like being able to hire people and just like and giving them agency over their uh, over their productions and them being able to craft things the way that they want them to be it's like it's really exciting i love it yeah i mean that's that's the best part about this and i mean but that's that's how this goes it, it's a process and and like i said not at three years and like i said they say it takes about five years to settle well in that case that right? i heard 10 it's five yeah. okay depending I on the business five better <laughs> 10 sounded yeah. more realistic well it, it depends on it depends on the situation right how it all works out but i again it it's again the more confident i am the more money i make it's yeah. a weird thing it's true it is true because the more confident that you are, the more you put yourself out there. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I was like, am I actually going to buy a ticket to this place? You know, and I'm literally going to get there that night, do the, the author talk, get there that day, do the author talk that night and fly back the yep. next morning. And I was like, yes, I am. I'm going to do it because you know what? I'm going to get there and I am going to show them that we have something to offer. There's, va there's value in showing up. Like, honestly, it goes a long way. Um, I, I realize, I realize, so I saw a clip last night from uh, Stallone series, right? Stallone series, is that what you said? Yes, yeah, so Sylvester Stallone's doing like a oh. mob series right uh -huh. now. Yeah. I actually kind of want to see it because again, I, I actually enjoy, I think Sylvester Stallone's an underrated writer, actually. I, I, completely. He wrote yeah. Rocky, right, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he wrote Rocky's, all the... I mean, he's, I, I think he's an underrated actor too. I think he's actually got some major skills, but he was sort of pigeonholed you know, into what he was capable of and, you know, with his um, speech, like, um, I think that kind of, lim or they felt it limited him as to what, he I, did, you know. I, I also think it was just he's a product of the times too, because I think Rocky one and Rocky two, he did some acting, right? My husband came, by the way, my husband came out, so he's getting them from the oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if he'd be here or not. Hi! <laughs> Sorry, there you go. Hi. Yeah, I was expecting Marnie Young and friends. It looks like he's just getting here. Yes, that's that was... my family. You want to see my family real quick? Sure. There's my family. I'm on uh, the podcast. Hi. It's Joshua. Mr. Joshua. And they're like, hi and, and, and hi. Okay, I love you. Hey, I got two snacks. It's on the counter. Milk is in the fridge. I'll be there in a bit. I love you. That That's your family, right? Yeah. So there you go. Um, uh, but going like Stallone was a product of his times. Like in the eighties, the action movies were all over the top. So he became an over the top actor. And when yeah. action like right, it because again, that's how I mean that's it's I mean he made, Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's where he made his money. I mean, there was a point there was a point in the early eighties where he was the biggest actor in Hollywood at one point, right? He it wasn't even right. like and then um I mean he kept going that to I think Demolition Man in the nineties. He did a couple other things in between, and then he disappeared for a while. Yep. And then uh, he came back and like, and then he showed his acting chops again in the last Rocky he did, which was Rocky yes. Balboa, yes. right? I love um, it. The guy can go. It's just, it, it again, it's a weird thing because it's 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 like you. You can do all kinds of things as an actress, mm -hmm. but if they paid you, if they paid you stupid piles of money to say one line no, over and over, over yeah, exactly. Of course. And right? I'd like to track us if I needed to. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, totally. And you'd be like, I can do so much more. No than limits. This. No limits. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, right, right. It's like, exactly, he's right. But that's that's the thing. That's what happened to him, right? He he was just like, hey, they threw, they backed up the bring truck for me to do this. Well, I was just gonna say, he got so he made so much money that he could be an executive producer, and that he at, he was able to, you know, do his own production. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. Right. So he's 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 doing this series now, and uh, he's playing a mob boss in the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, which I think is funny. But my favorite thing I saw not too long ago was, do, do you know, D goes, do you think anybody truly cares what your diploma is? Like, nobody cares. You know what the yeah. people they care, do you know what they care about? 
They care that you've proven to them that you should show up at a reasonable time, get the task done in a reasonable time, and then you can do it consistently over a period of time. That's what college is. That's why they hire you, just for that. That's right. <laughs> He's, he's right. Totally, he's totally yeah. right. That, that's all it is. Like, yep. like if, if you can, if you can show up. <laughs> yeah. You had right? to. Yeah. That, that's it. I, I, you know, one of the most amazing things, like I, I have like my, I have 10 rules of success and the, the first rule is show up. I, every once in a while, I think this is the dumbest rule I've ever made. Yeah, I'm but, amazed. I've seen you post a couple of things about like just being super disappointed in humanity with like people not showing up. It seems like you have unfortunately had a. I, I no, no, I, no, well, it, it, again, one of the reasons I'm going on the road is I've made it like so. I come, I came back to Calgary, right? I go, hey, let's have coffee. No, not everybody. No, not everybody's in this boat. Yeah, but I get like, yeah, 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 and then I never hear from them again. Sure. Right, right, and it's oh, yeah. like, so I realize it's like. I'm here. I'm only here for so much time, Aww. right? Why yeah. am I? Why am I? Why is this the way it's going? I, I so one of the people I, I talked to, I saw them. I did a poetry festival um, last. I think it was last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. And I did my first reading in a while. I had my first so, right. Some cool yeah. stuff, right? So one of the people I tried to hang out with was there for like two hours, and I mentioned at the end, it's like, why are you going? And I had told her, it's like, don't feel like. I, I, um, and I just, I just mentioned the fact that, you know, I can't, I can't get a hold of anybody. It's not just one person. It's just there's right. a, an overwhelming majority of people I've never been able to get a hold of. So what that tells me is a couple of things. One, the people that were in my life in 2019 are not supposed to be in my life now. Sure, they're not. They're just not supposed to be. And that, and that's good, bad. And I'm a little sad about that, in yeah. some cases, but it is what it is. Um, the second thing is, I mean, again, it made me ask a question. Well, no one I know really wants to hang out. Why am I here? Like, that's a really good like question, right? Yeah. So, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I think the idea of going just to work for somebody and coming home and, and doing nothing is shrug. I mean, that's like, yeah. like that's not appealing. So, yeah. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not real. I mean, don't get me wrong. We all have our lives and I get that, but, yeah. but, but I've been back in Calgary for over a year and I'm like, you know, an hour and a half in a year is not an unreasonable thing to ask for. So that's, or even so, meeting halfway, even if it's not an hour and a half, you meet each other halfway and then they don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's, it's not an impossibility. So it, I mean, it's one of those situations. I just realized this is where people are at here. And for whatever reason, I think, again, I think, honestly, um, I don't think it's quite the same everywhere. I think it's very much a here thing. Mm. Or maybe it's just that I don't belong here anymore. And that's and that's totally fair, right? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I know that, you know, I'll say like, oh, let you know, they'll be like, let's meet for coffee. It'll be like, great, you know, let me know. Or I'll even text people say, hey, you know, when do you want to hang out? Or, you know, I'm available. We never hear from them. Yeah, but that's, exactly. You know what? I just, I guess I'm so like, I don't take it personally. It's just kind of like, okay, you know. Well, what else? I, well, I, I'm just at the point. Just like, just tell me no. Just save me time. Just tell yeah, me no. I know. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's certain points when like something, it, a response is required, and I don't get it, and that kind of peeves me because it's like you, you can't just take one second just to like respond. No, just, you know, just, like no. Yeah. Just, 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 <laughs> just say no. Yeah. Like at this point, yeah. I don't generally care. Like if you want to hang out, great. If you don't, that's also fine. But that just, tells you how they operate in their own lives, right? I mean, it's, yeah. 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 So, I've, so it, it, it's one of those things, like, again, it's one of those things I've come to the conclusion of that, you know, this is just the way it here has become. And, and, you know, and may, again, maybe it's just not for me, but also, I just think I think I think part of it too is again where I'm at, like where I'm at versus where a lot of my friends are at. I, I've changed a lot in three years. And I think everybody's changed, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe I've just gone in a very different direction. Or maybe we've just all well, gone you, there. You grow out of people. You know, yeah. there are people I thought I'd be friends with forever and we just they <coughs> yeah. aren't more and it just you just grow out it i don't know if it's that you find other interests or they find i'm not exactly sure what happens but it oh, is sure. like a, 
growing. You grow like that, they grow like that, and then you you you, you grow apart, or you just kind of, I don't know. And it's just oh, yeah. like you said. Well, it's not meant to be. We're not supposed to be friends forever. Or or, or just like I said, I don't, I don't, and I don't wish anybody well. Again, it taught me a very valuable lesson. Don't wait for anybody, right? Yeah. I'm actually been I've, been, I've been, it's been interesting because again, I've been, I've been more forward about some stuff too. Like I, I like, again, this is my last hundred episodes. So when people I've always wanted to interview, Hey, you want to come? And some of them will give me a yes. And then I don't hear from them like ever. And then I'm like, I, I, I'm like, okay. Uh, all right. All right. So, so one, one particular person I said, okay, look, just, just right. Just let me know just one way or the other. Yeah. And, and she's like, to be honest, I'm not comfortable with this sort of thing. It's like, okay, cool. Just say no yeah. next time. Save me, just yeah. say, right? Save me time. Now I won't bother you anymore. Right? Just like People that. Do, for whatever reason, they don't want to let the person down, but so they don't respond at all, which I find. I mean, I get, I get it, but it's just so strange to me. Like, Whoa. like that girl or whoever the person was didn't want to let you down. Like she said, to be honest, I'm not really comfortable with that. She didn't, you know. Yeah. So she just said nothing. But it's like. Yeah, you, you just yeah, you just say no thanks or thanks for thinking of me, but you know that's not yeah. right thing. I, again. I don't take it personally anymore. I just yeah. want to know. I just want to know where 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 you're at, and yeah. that's it. Like I don't, but now again, I don't wait. I just do. Yeah. And what this told me was like again, I just I I it, it helped the decision I was making. It's like okay, well, if no one here wants to hang. You know, I can find other people to hang out all over the all over two countries, right? Mm -hmm. Can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. Right. So it's no longer to me. It's no longer. It's like, okay, if you won't, if again, and going back to what I said, this whole show up rule, it's, it's really all about it. Like I've learned, I've learned this over and over is it's the difference. It really, really is the difference with, with and not just in relationships, but in business and the people that are serious and committed in the long game win and the reason they win is not because they are better necessarily but because they do the little all the little things yeah yeah I, right that's it that's true yeah that's 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 it, it, it and again it, it when you realize that it's just like it's that simple it's that fucking simple and, and it's I, like make sure that you don't ever change you're so, as far as like how you handle people and how you connect with people, you know, based on the way that they're, oh, 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 no, you know no. what I mean? Like, you don't ever want to lose that about you, that approachability, that like putting yourself out there. You don't want to lose that because that's beautiful. Yeah. And I think that there isn't enough out there, enough people out there, you know, and I, um, there will come so important. There will come a point. There will come a point where I cut my time down with other, out, on from the outside. I can see that that time coming. Sure. Right. But the difference is the difference is I will be honest with people. I will give people the respect of the honesty and the kindness of just saying I can't and I'm sorry. Right. I just can't. And I'm, right. And that's it. Right. I find I find like I said. I, I find like I said like that goes an incredible long way and just like no hard feelings I'm, i just can't all right or i don't even sometimes abruptly i just don't want to which is fine too right right it's it, all right sometimes sometimes it is that simple like you don't you don't need you don't need a big reason you just got to be honest with people 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 will respect that i get away with more yeah. shit because that, I get away with far more shit because I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 no, it, it, it's true. It's just, they, everybody just looks at you a lot more. They give you a lot more respect. You're just like, you're just like, they don't, and it doesn't matter who it is. They just give you a lot more stuff because you're saving everybody time, true. right? You're, you're, true. Saving, you're saving everybody time. Like, do you, I mean, seriously, with your kids, when, when, yeah. they, when they do something wrong, I don't think you really care that much. You know what you really care about? What? You just, you resolve the situation as quickly as you can because you, you don't want to be that bad guy. Sorry, I have a package. See, this is real life. You have a real life. <coughs> yes. Thank you very much. You too. I have a package. It's not for me. No worries. No worries. But I mean, like, like when you when you deal with your kids, right? Yeah. And they go, who broke this? And they point at each other. Oh like, my gosh. And which they do. And I'm like, one of you. No. 
mm -mm, she did it. Yeah, it's literally like they won't take responsibility and we have to have a chat about taking ownership, taking how, responsibility. How, how, old, how old are they, by the way? They're gonna be nine April 13th. They're both, they're both the same age. Oh, yeah, they're identical twins. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In that case, in that case, you're, you're kind of screwed. Oh, right? I'm screwed. I'm, I've been screwed for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they're the same age, which means, which means they're going to see, they're going to have like a little like personal pact with each other. Too. Oh, they already do. They've, they've yeah. pretended to be the other person and made it through like a good part of the class went back when they had masks at school, you know, they couldn't see their whole face. So they switched clothes in the bathroom. <laughs> and then came out brother's class and yeah it was uh, quite something and the teachers actually they were like you know don't be too hard on them we actually thought it was quite clever but you know it's dangerous because we have to account for all the children and you know we didn't know that and then she's in the wrong classroom and i'm like no we understand we'll talk to them it's not okay but they coordinated she waited in the bathroom for her sister switched clothes back to everything and pretended to be, and they said that they knew it when they heard the laugh, because the laugh is different. And they were like, "Oh my gosh, that is not, you know, whatever." So, so, so you're so it's like on one hand, we want we, we need to come down on you. On the other hand, that's real. I told him, I was yeah, like, that's really clever. I was like, I was, yeah. but don't do it again. Yes, yeah, so, well, I I I wouldn't say that. Just 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 just. Use this power constructively. Use this power construct. I like that. That's so, well, because, because because you, I I mean here here's the thing too. You never know. Like like my who knows right? Maybe they're doing what they're doing because it might come in handy later somehow. Somewhere. Yeah, it's true. Right, and I and I I'm not saying I know exactly why. I don't. <laughs> right, but but it's one of those things where it's just like they have a bond, and again. Harnessing, harness, harnessing their, 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 yeah, it's one of the cleverest things I've heard, actually. It's really, really good. You know what I heard? Someone took a test for another, their brother, their brothers, and they pretended to be the other brother because they weren't as good and took like the SAT or whatever. Yeah. yeah for, and they didn't know. And so, of course, did great. The both <laughs> brothers did great because he's really, I mean, they're both smart, but one was way better at the test taking. So, yeah. yeah. No, it, 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 listen, I, I, I don't judge. I've learned a long I know, time I ago. Know. I just, I was like, oh my. Well, again, I, I, I so I had a buddy, uh, this was um, French class, okay? This is high school. We sucked at French. Like, yeah, we, we were required to take one year of French, okay? And uh, for the first year we were there. So I do great at French. I did great at French, right? So he was beside me. He needed to get like a ridiculous mark on the last exam to pass the course. So he took his watch and he copied almost all my answers, but like the last one. What? Oh yeah. No. Well, oh yeah. So I had the highest mark in the test, and he had the second. Second highest. Yeah, he had the second. Get them all he actually, right, though, because then they'd really know. Like you have to get like one or two wrong, so they're not vicious, right? Well, well, it, it's not even that. It's just it comes down to this, right? Here, here's the deal. This is I think how my teacher looked at this and how they yeah. looked at this. Okay. It doesn't really like again. Do you want them to come back another year? <laughs> right. I mean, I mean that's that, that right. Or you just get this out of their system, right? Because they know they knew I was going to do well. Right. And he told me at the end, it's like, oh man, I wish you had just waited one more minute. I didn't get that last answer from you. And I was like, oh, you got kidding me? Back, yeah, it's like, yeah, I had the watch. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he he had something like I I got something like 95, 97 percent. He got like 94, 93 percent. It was like really ridiculous, like what he got. Yeah. And um, he passed. It was what he needed to get out he of the passed. course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. I'm not condoning cheating, ladies and gentlemen. That's not what I'm saying. Let the record be clear. Let me be clear. This yeah, record, yeah. Right? But everybody wants to be clear. Yeah, but like, but at the same at the same time, like I, I, there is something to be said about, you know, and this is how I look at things. It's just they they're doing work to do this. Now maybe it wouldn't be the way I would do it, but at the same time, yeah. But at the same time, I mean, he did it in such a way that that. I mean, he always was smart enough to pick his spots, and he always was smart enough to. And again, smart guy just didn't do as well on tests as I, right? Sure. So, shrug. 
he did it and he got out of the French class, which was one of his biggest areas of struggle. So, I mean, again, yeah. empowering people, you were empowered. Well, it's just, it's just one of those, it's one of those things where I just, I looked at, I, again, I, I, that, that kind of, although I don't completely agree with this, it kind of changed my whole point of view on cheating, right? It kind of changed my whole point of view on it a little bit. It was like, you know what? I'm not going to judge and let people do whatever they're going to do. Um, I, I even, I, right. It wasn't the only time I've ever been used to be cheated on. I, I made it I, <coughs> one other, one other group in high school when I was doing geography where, where she knocked me to, I made my little deal. So here's the deal, right? If you find a way, don't let me know. That yeah. was, it. don't let me know. Yeah. Right. That way I'm innocent. They understood that. They oddly understood that. Right. Again, for, for the record, I don't condone cheating. But I also don't, I, I also understand that, that, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do to get through. You don't have, right. I, I, I wasn't you. I wasn't so kind. I get pissed off. I'd be like, I work my ass off and you were cheating off my, I'd be, oh, I'd be enraged. Yeah, now, yeah. This kid, I was like this close. They didn't have valedictorian. I can't remember what it was like your junior year. Mm -hmm. there, there's no valedictorian, but you know, in high school, there's like, I can't remember what they're called. It's something like the equivalent, but it's your junior as opposed to your senior year, right? And I was up there and I was up for it. I missed it by one. And guess why? Because one of the kids cheated. Wow. So that would have been my spot. So sorry, I don't, you're fine. I'm, I'm not judging. Like, yes, you're right. Everybody does their thing, whatever, but no, no, no I'm, I, not cool I, 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 I'm not cool with no, it. No, 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 I, I, I get it. No, I get it. But it, 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 like I said, it more came down with me. It, this is how it is. More came down with me. Yeah. No, that's great, and it's really like kind and you know compassionate. And I do have that. I'm just like, no, no like, like you're I, smart I, enough I, to be able to not cheat, and you just choose to not work, and it's not fair because I'm sitting here, you know, studying for hours, and you don't even have to think about it, and then you the, cheat. The flip side. The flip side. The only thing I will tell you is they do work at it. They have to trust me. To cheat like like that one guy did. That that yeah, that, that, really that forever, was right? yeah. He'd so. literally be like like you could see him looking at other people's pages. And no, they, no, no, and no, 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 no. He, he didn't look at anybody. Like again, he uses watch. He never yeah, well, that's different. Yeah, he uses watch. No, he uses watch. So he never actually looked away. And he right? was. A friend of yours right so i don't know this person was not my friend so maybe that i don't know though no, i think it, i still would have been that I, I don't think i still would have been okay with it yeah you know? I, I again i i i i again i it's not that again it's not that i work it, this is how i look again the other way i look at it is the other it, when push comes to shove let's just say hypothetically they got a better opportunity than me somehow somewhere right yeah you helped that Right, right. Well, not even saying that I, they won't last. Like that's that's the other. Well, that's true too. That's why I always thought I was like, man, he when he finds out in the real world that what he's doing is not going to work anymore. Yeah. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be an ugly awakening for him. Yeah, yeah. No, no, to totally right. I mean, in that in my one guy's in my one guy in my one friend's case, he never like he he, he just wanted to get out of going to friends class ever again. Right. It's not like not like I ever trust me on this from a grade standpoint, from a grade standpoint, he was never going to be a threat to me in that class. Right. That's this was very sure. cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Sure. Right. Um, right. But it got him out. And I'm like, you know what? That's I get that. Right. I totally like, like again, at the end of that, just like, sure. Uh, you're not? good. I can't. I just can't. Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like, how can you do that? It's like, yeah. I'm like, wait, I'm like, what? No. Oh man. There was, there was a girl when I was in my other, when I was in my other junior high school, the one I, when I lived in Rhode Island and, uh, cause I was in South Carolina when I lived in Rhode Island and she yeah, copied my paper word for word. And then he didn't like the teacher seemed to not realize that she had copied my stuff. Like I was pissed. Yeah, no, I, no. See, I, see. Now there are there but are. It's funny because I like care about certain things and other things. I'm like, yeah, oh well, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and, and that, like, like, like here's the thing. Like, this is, this is this is me. I don't care about a grade. There's no money involved. Now, when there's money involved, I very much care. Right. Now, if somebody I, cheated to get a the better job than you to get more money. Would you be pissed off? Like, if they took your ideas and said, okay, oh, here's a good one. If they maybe I hope this doesn't happen to you. They took your ideas and said they were their own and ended up like being promoted and you didn't get promoted. uh you know what i've never 
So I, I have this. This is hypothetical. This is hypothetical. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm answering you. Hypothetically speaking, okay. I, so when I worked for people, I learned a very, very valuable lesson. Really, really. If, if, if the place is just a job for you, right, just a job, especially up here in Canada where they don't give you any incentive to come up with ways to improve the system, mm-hmm. just don't worry about it. I, I have that ability like the, to, could I make the system better? Yes. Will they appreciate it? No. No. So I don't bother. Right now. All right. Now, now that's, that's me. Now, if some, now again, we're, we're talking like, like writing and copyright, like stuff, like stuff I mm-hmm. create, create. Oh no. I very much care about that. Like that's a very different thing. For, it's one thing to cheat off a test to get out of just French class. You're just getting out of it. Right. Yeah. You just, because you don't want to repeat next year. I, there, right. that's one thing. It's a, quite another when I'm, I craft something and you decide, you decide that you, you, you think you like it so much. You're going to try to take it. Yeah. Nah, me, me and you are going to have problems. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So, right. Right. So that, that's, that's there, there is, again, there are, again, the first one, I don't care. The second one. Yeah. I care a lot. Yeah. Right. I, right. To the point, to the point that I can literally become a big asshole about it. I've learned again. You should. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, absolutely. Yeah, you must. And absolutely. you should. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, it's because- It's intellectual property and there's, it's theft. Oh, no, not, not, not only that, I, again, some of the biggest lessons I've learned in this business I'm in now is if you don't stand up for yourself, you get run over. People will not even- It's the not, same. It's, I think it's all business. Yeah, no, it, it, it totally yourself. is. Yeah, you don't so if someone wants to try it, if someone wants to try it, they will find out very quickly how much of an asshole I really can be. Right. It, it, it won't be, I won't be nice about it. I, I will, I will legitimately, I will legitimately inform you under no, um, under no, like completely with circumstances that you done fucked up and now you pissed me off. Right. You done fucked it up. Yeah. Yeah. You done Y'all. fucked it up. Yeah. I smacked the fire out of you. Well, no, 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 it may not be smack. Like I said, it, it depends. It depends on what's involved. The, vir- the not the the legal smack, like the not the actual physical, whatever the the equivalent of walloping someone. So, so again, I, 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 I'm in. A, I'm still not quite at the. Po- I'm still not quite at the point. I'm still not quite at the point where where I can afford a great lawyer. But <laughs> no, no, I, I'm serious. I, like this is this is where I'm at. Like, no. like I, 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 I will. Can- I, like no, like that kind of stuff. Oh no, no, no! I don't fuck around. I don't like. Let's like, say so you, you, you learn this really quickly. Is you learn if you pay for something I'm on and I get like the and you pay for it permanently, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But if you just try and take from me, right? It'll happen once and it will never happen again. Yeah, I mean, you have somebody not pay you, and I, I can't afford to go get a lawyer to go after them, and it's not enough money. And by the time you spend all the money on the lawyer, you've actually lost money because it wasn't yep. enough. To pay for the point. and they know that you know i'm sure and they just don't give a shit. so i'm in i'm in a unique spot i have a platform so i have no problem right exposing anybody that does this right so that's the other thing too it, it, it's like you can you can cross me if you want yeah but it'll happen once and you won't like what happened again yeah everybody will know it's you everybody yeah right absolutely so, Oh, there's been times when I thought about putting some, I was like, there are like 30,000 followers out there. I was like, I could do some damage with it. No, but, but the thing is, that's, that, that, that's the thing, right? You have a following, right? So if someone goes out of their way to try to rip you off, again, it's one thing if it doesn't work out. Like shit happens sometimes, of right? Of course. Oh, of course. Right? Yeah. But if someone's legitimately trying to rip you off, Yeah. You know, like which, which, Again, I've been through this experience myself once. I'll never yeah. do it again. It'll never happen to me again. Yep. Um, I have been, I have been, um, like one of my, one of my uh, temp jobs when I came back to Calgary, I was with a marketing company and they were supposed to pay me a bonus. Now, legally speaking, they're required to pay me in 30 days, mm-hmm. right? Um, they missed it. All right. So it cost me, it put me really behind on rent and stuff like that. I was right. You missed your bill because you're expecting that payment is supposed to come to you and you've got it all lined up. This is going to pay for that. That's going to cover that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So no, it, 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 it really fucked me up. 
um, I was pissed. I, again, I won't work for that company ever again. It's like one and done. I'm done. Yep. Right. And, and that's just the way it is. I'm going to, I'm going to yell, scream, holler. And I did, I, I made noise from my met, from my immediate supervisor all the way up and up top of the chain. I didn't care. Right. You're paying, pay me fucker. That's basically how okay. I was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's it. No, it's that, again, I you, have, you have to have that. Like, like that's the thing, right? You have to have that. Like, if you if, if if even if it doesn't it still goes sideways they're never going to push you around again they're no gonna go, and anybody else who says like damn i'll make sure <laughs> yeah exactly no it, it, again it, it, i mean this this sounds really cold but you gotta set an example like you kind of have not to. cold it's what's cold and shitty is what that person did to you and they, they think it's okay would they ever go to a restaurant and not pay and be like oh i didn't feel like paying you for that no they wouldn't no. It would never happen. Yeah. They have to pay. It's yeah, oh, as simple as that. And they oh. don't get to, you know, wait like a year and a half to pay you. No. Oh, I, I, I no, like, 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 oh, yeah. You know what no. happens if I owe somebody money? Well, you better believe, like, I will sell my own shit to pay them. I mean, there have been times when I, sorry, I get on this, but there no. have been times, two times, where I almost closed the doors on my business. I think we talked about that once. And they were really ugly, ugly times. And I was losing a ton of money. And, and I had to pay my people. Well, guess what I did? Like, I found ways to pay them. You sell shit. You find things Absolutely. to, you know, my, I went into my own savings to pay them. Oh, sure. Because you have to. You have a responsibility. You provide a service and you get paid for it. That is how it works. That is the relationship. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I, I, again, I learned this the hard way. I learned this one the hard way. It's one of the reasons my teeth up here are fake. It's one of the reasons, right? Uh, right. So, oh yeah. Oh no, I could, I, I, I this story I won't tell on, on the air. I'll tell you off the air. Sure, uh, sure. Um, yeah, I'm not any more details than just saying like, yeah, that, so. No, I, again, I've been through it. It'll never happen again, like yeah. ever, right? It, it just won't. I've been late, like I've been late paying people. I have been late paying people. Um, one particular individual I felt so guilty about, but not too long ago, mm -hmm. uh, I was able to pay her and I was, I felt great doing it because it just was like, and it was later than it had any right to be. But at the same time, again, she didn't really need it, which is kind of why I didn't feel fully guilty about it. But I still like it. So again, it's, it weighs you down. Like it does. The moment I paid her, I was so again. I don't ever want to be that guy that that owes money and never pays. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it, we, people fall on hard times, and I'm I'm very I understand having been through our own hard times and having grown up like going bankrupt. Oh, yeah. Our family when I was young, I understand that. It's not that I don't have compassion for that, but it's just like still. Oh, there's there, there's there, there's a point. No, 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 there's a point. Like even like I've been like but I've never not paid. Right. 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 I've never, not right. Paid. You don't just walk away or yeah, move yeah. to another country. <laughs> no, I, no. So like I said, it, it was, it was, like I said, I've learned this. I've, I've learned all of this. Um, the heart, some of it, this is the hard way. I needed to learn this though. Up until I lived in the United States, the last time I lived there, hmm. I didn't know how to be ruthless. And you, you again you kind of you kind of have to be like i it, it's one of those again it's not it shouldn't be your default setting no but, of course not no but, it's the kind of thing like and i think you and i are similar we're nice i, I would gather we're nice until we're crossed yeah <laughs> you know oh yeah no it, it, like, advantage like, of your niceness and then we start to have a problem yeah and sometimes and sometimes and sometimes it's uh it's funny because some people still tr will try to play the take advantage game and it's funny yep. and it's funny. So I'll give you this story. I'll tell you this story. Okay. So a comic book marketing agency, right? A buddy, a, a mutual buddy of mine got a hold of me. He, uh, my buddy apologized actually immediately after I didn't, he goes, I did not expect him to give you the whole spiel. I just, I was trying this range of guests for you. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So you try to get me to do all of this stuff. And I'm listening to this and it's like, what well, anything you want? So, you know, the restream thing you see on the top right there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right there. He, yeah. Wanted, he wanted that to be a sponsored, a sponsored thing. Like you want to have his logo on there for his clients. I'm like, that's a sponsored stream. That's money. Yeah. And, and he's like, well, I don't know. But again, I don't need you. I, I, I don't need you. Right. So 
this I can get guests on my own. I can I can meet people on my own. It does not matter to me personally. What right? Right? Like I don't need someone to spread my name out there. I I don't. I, right? I, I I've established myself. I don't need you. So I was very professional about it. I sent them a letter. How much this would actually cost? Mm-hmm. Right? What I thought was a fair price. And 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 and. The response was hilarious. Now, I've interviewed comic book people since the very beginning of the show, right? It's not just a comic podcast, but I've interviewed it. He was like, well, since you're not a comic podcast, right, I won't do this. And I'm just, I was laughing so hard when I got that response, right? Because I knew that was the response I was going to get. Well, actually, I was a little shocked because I gave him a plan B that would have allowed mm-hmm. his clients to actually be interviewed on the show. But, oh. at my, but at my discretion, not his. Right. 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 So, which I thought was a fair deal because what does a public relations person want? Yeah. To their clients. Nope. Didn't want that either. So I was like, I'm a little surprised because I've done metal public agencies or author public agencies and public relations. And it's like, they were okay with this. Shrug. Right. But again, that's what I've learned. And again, what we've learned in this, what I've learned in this business is again, people, people will try no matter how far you go people will try to take advantage of you and you can't let, and again, you can't let them. No, you can't. And, and I mean, I think, I think again, the biggest thing, the biggest thing I've learned doing freelancing is not to undersell your price for that reason, because that's, that's the hardest lesson is the reason why price points are the way they are is not because, um, we don't necessarily want to be cheaper, but we want to make sure that whoever we're working with has the same skin in the game. I do. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't even offer packages because I, I, I had thought about that and I said, you know what? No, no sir. Gonna be, we're not going to cater to, if you're coming to us, you're coming to us because you're serious about what you want. You know, yeah. you know that it's, it's gonna, it's an investment and that you're in it. You're, you're, yeah. you know, and, um, so we don't, we don't do that. And, um, ah. I had a thought. It just went. No worries. It'll, it'll come, it'll come, it'll come, I don't know it'll, why. It'll um, oh, back. well, in the beginning, though, it was funny because I talk about underselling. I was charging the clients so little. I was paying the narrators way over what even the SAG rate is now. Yeah. Like way over. People are like, what? Wait, wait. They're li- if they're listening to this. Yes, I was. And I was paying out of my own pocket. So I was literally losing money. With- oh, yeah. Yo, so not yeah, a good idea. Not mm-hmm. a good Those who want to run a business, make sure you're making a profit. Don't forget to pay yourself. Well, again, this is how it goes, right? <laughs> when you start. Is like, no. And also, I am worth this. This is the service that I'm offering. Absolutely. And I'm giving you, you know, I'm giving you my expertise. I'm giving you access to my team. I'm giving the access to our narrators. No. And that's, that's why it's this and not that. Yeah, you know? that's right. And I want to know you're as serious as I am. Right. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. yeah like, no, right. Like you have as much skin in the game as, as yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. It's, it's the last, it's, it's the big, again, my very first, so again, telling you all these bad stories here. Good. I know. Remember, it's not a negative. It will pull some positive stuff. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I, you know what? This is just good. This is just good life lesson stuff. So I, just, I don't okay. even feel this is a neg- negative, okay. hopefully a negative thing. Um, my very first client wanted me to do help do their Kickstarter campaign for a percentage, right? I will okay. never do. I will never do percentages ever again. Like yeah, ever. So well, I take it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I just won't do it. I, I <laughs> will. I, I will. I collaborations sometimes but not often right mm-hmm. right because you, you there are some projects that are just fun oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah right. i call them passion projects yeah. yeah and you're allowed i think you're allowed a certain amount of them every year yes but, the same but, yeah right same. you're allowed a certain amount of them every year um, my rule is right now too oh thank you yeah Sorry, my, 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 my 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 rule is two i can't go beyond two right yeah. because it, oh yeah same yeah, I can't go beyond two because two, two, it's like, okay, I'm willing to take an investment. I'm willing to take a risk, right? I'm not expecting anything here, but I can't. Um, um, and, and, and this and this actually came up, and again, not too long ago, someone was looking, it's like, what's the reason, I, wait, like, I, like, is there like a reasonable advertising right here? And I'm like, 
I listen to them. So I go, what, what do you define reasonable rate, right? And, and, and they mentioned a percentage point. I'm like, that's not realistic. Like, it's not realistic. No <laughs> advertiser will do this because they write none. Yeah, I, 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 I actually, my advice to that in particular individual is like, honestly, suck it up. Yep. Pay the money. Yep. Let them do it because you'll be a lot happier about that than trying yeah. to find that that magical middle ground. And, and I got into a little bit of a, uh, one person disagreed with me. It's like, honestly, it's like, this is what it comes down to. If someone wants to have their time paid for, you can't blame them. Sure, of course. <coughs> right, but I mean, that's, again, this is this is the thing. Like, I've learned this, I've learned this. Again, these are all lessons I've learned, learned as freelancer is, you got, you have to, the best piece of advice I ever got is never work for free, ever. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Yeah. You can't. No. Although I have a hard time doing that because, in fact, my production coordinator has to hold me back because I'll be like, "Well, maybe I can." She's like, "Marnie, stop it." She's that's like, right. You're making. You need to make money too. And I'm like, "Well, da da da." She's like, "Marnie, that's why we're in this business." She's that's like, right. That's right. You can. I was you like, cannot, all right, all right. She, she holds talking. me back. She's good. She keeps me in check. Denise? Yeah. Yeah, Denise. She's no, Canadian. Not. That's why. Like, No, she again. again she's again, so nice. She uh, she is. But she's also, but I mean, she's also going to say, Marnie, you're worth, yeah. you're worth it. And you're yeah, like, she does. She says that. The same thing. I'm like, well, maybe I should only trust. She's like, Marnie, cut it out. She's like, you're worth it. I'm like, would anybody want to pay that for me? She's like. Of course they would. I was like, really? Okay. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and it, it was right. You know, I was like, yeah. oh, well, that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Sorry, I just spent. That was a pleasant no, a, surprise. I would have spit on you had I been like there, but no. No, it's it's all it's all good. I would I would I would I it wouldn't be the first time I'm been slapping on you. Right. So it's all good. Right. Now, grant you, now, grant you, uh, the person that, slob that slobbered on me was, nah, 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 that would be yeah, we're going in a different direction. I yeah, 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 yeah. So we won't go there. No, but I mean, ultimately, um, yeah, like, that's it, right? Like, what I've learned in the three years I've learned to do this, hold people to a price point. Don't, don't waver. I mean, there are, like I said, you can give yourself a couple passion products every year, but by and large, yeah. you've got to minimize that. Yep. You can't don't run work that way if you don't. Yeah, and, and 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 show up and just be the best version of you you can, right? So, so got an agent. You've been performing yeah. more. Um, actually, I just did. Um, Neil Gaiman just endorsed a, a movie, uh, Richard the Third. Yes. That I was in. Yeah, I was Lady Anne. Oh, so nice. I my part, and we're just waiting to see it all come together. So it's super exciting. Yeah, congrats. Hi. Congrats. <laughs> Got some star power in there, which is just great. I, 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 the names are just not coming to me right now, but probably had I had coffee, I would be on it. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's exciting and fun. And um, yeah, the agent was just to actually explore other avenues, you know, because I had had an agent up until the girls were born. And then, you know, we let it, I let it drop off and they were fine because, you know, I mean, I kids and I moved to Connecticut and that just changed a lot of stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, um, uh, just trying to get out there. Um, they're going to represent me for, uh, voiceover and commercial and print and theatrical and. So what do you want to do? What's your, what's your big goal here? I don't actually have one. Because I'm 45 and I kind of just want to do whatever, you know, I don't know. I, um, they're like, were you willing to go out of town? I said, yep. Okay. So, well, I mean, even to Canada or whatever, you know, to, to film something or do something or, yeah, I, I, uh, I mean, I love acting. I love it, love it, love it. And I can thankfully still run my business, you know, oh, yeah. even being away. I mean, the only thing that's not good, obviously, is the recording. But, you know, as long as I know when I'm going and where I can schedule it. I mean, that's the nice thing about having your own schedule, right? Oh, absolutely. You, no, you, 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 you can organize your time. Like, that's not yeah. really an issue. The reason why I'm asking is... a goal. I mean, maybe that's weird, but I don't no. know. My goal was always to act, and it's just to continue to act in whatever shape or form that takes. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, but I mean, the reason why I ask is sometimes, so, so sometimes, right? Sometimes this might be just about you having fun. I mean, your twins are, are old enough now that they don't need you every single moment of every single day. True. That's what that that's one of the reasons you're going back into it now because when they when they were kids, they needed their mom full time and you decided sure that was right. Yeah. And that's why you did it. Now that you're older slash wiser ish. <laughs> wiser. Right? Yeah, I'd put an age. Ish. Down. Right. <laughs> and also now that they're a little older, they can they can fend for themselves kind of sort of, I mean, they can certainly fend for themselves. They're switching clothes. I know, and, right? And, Seriously. And that was a few years ago. I was like, damn. Um, no, but it's uh yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I'd love to make some more money, you know, doing something else too. I mean, it's just, sure. um, and yeah, you're right. I do. I do w would like to have fun. Actually, it's funny. Denver, I realized that convention at Readers Take Denver uh, mm -hmm. was the first time I'd ever, oh, nice. It was the first time I'd ever been away from them that wasn't a funeral where I was gone for a day and came back the following day ever in the nine year, you know, almost nine years that they've been, people are like, you've never been, I was like, nope, I haven't been anywhere, <laughs> nowhere. It, you know, but I mean, so it's I mean, so, so cool to like, be like, oh, there's adults and there's like a thing and I can talk about stuff and there's like. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I think, I, I mean, they're nine. So let me see. So they're still young enough. Like you're still watching all their their shows still. Of course, absolutely. And, and some of them you're like, why are you watching this? And some of them oh. are like, and some of them are like, okay, this is pretty good. This is okay. I might be just as brain damaged as you. I I'm not sure, but this is right, okay. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Oh, oh no. The biggest thing I worry about having kids is I'm like they're they're gonna have an equivalent to like Barney, and this ages me a little bit. Same, oh, right, you know? Barney. Yeah, right, right, right. This age is be a little bit same, Matt, but it's just like, oh man, if they if they make me do that, I'm probably gonna go a little mental. Well, like, Chris like, used to say that we're like raising axe murderers because there's like some of these crazy shows that are just so like beyond me. So, you know, that they make you crazy watching them. But actually, there are some really cute shows out there. Um uh, sure. Bluey is super cute, Daniel Tiger is super cute, Peppa Pig. I'm sure you've heard of you know, from some, are, some, some of them, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm not cool enough for television anymore. I, I decided, like, like for Grass me, Garden, that's made in Canada. Yeah, it's really cute, made by Canadian yeah. in Canada. Oh, we have we have a growing film industry out here too, which is kind of cool. But uh, no, I, 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 it's weird because in the last few years since I've been freelancing, I've gotten away even further. So I had to make a choice: video games when I do have spare time, or uh -huh. television. And video games is the one. Yeah, video yeah. games is the one I want. That one, like I said, one day I I will have kids and they will make me watch those. They will. They will. They'll, will. Make, they'll make me do it. And I'll be like, okay, you win, you win. Yep. And you know what? You don't even care. Just, no. Just, just love it, and it's such precious time with them. And <coughs> before you, you're like, oh my gosh, I was gone for five days. I cried. They didn't cry. I cried every day. Yeah. In Denver, poor Denise was. We were roomies. We got to meet each other for the first time, which was amazing. She's even more phenomenal in person, even though I didn't think it was possible. But anyway, she saw me like break down frequently. <laughs> She'd be like, "Oh no, it's okay." I was like, "I'm not there. My babies are all it's like such a mess." So, 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 Denise, De Denise, I was the adult by default. What'd you say? Yeah, she was the adult. I know. I was like the toddler. I told her, I was like, I feel like a toddler. It's okay. I mean, it's your first. I mean, and honestly, I'm older. I'm like way older than her. She's a baby. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, but the thing is, it's your. I mean, this is your first time away from your kids. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, that like, if you're gonna go down the acting world, you're gonna go down doing what you're doing. You're gonna have more. You're gonna have. Yeah. Just, just don't break down in the scene. Okay. Just don't. Right. Do I that. know exactly. No, and it was there. Yeah. There was one point where I was at my little table and we were in Denver and you know, we have our little, I have to send you my setup. It was really cute. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, I was looking at her and she's like, Marnie, it's okay. And you could see like the tears are welling. I was like, God. It's like, it's like deep breaths. It's okay. It and one woman came by and I was like, she's looking at me. And I was like, oh, I'm just missing my babies. And then, you know, we started chatting about kids and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, me too. I've never been, you know, I have an infant. I've never been away. And, you know, they were a reader. And 
brought it, her husband. And so we we're kind of chatting about that. And it was nice. Yeah. And then what ended up being like this thing ended up being this lovely exchange with this other woman who was kind of feeling what I was feeling. So. Oh, sure. I mean, I, again, this is, I think, I think <laughs> this is a normal thing. I mean, you, you, I mean, again, you, you've been with them for nine full years. They've been every yeah. day. So now you're like, yeah. okay, they're, 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 they're they're mature now. I need them. Though. Well, see, that's the thing I told you. I just booked two more conventions because I was like, alrighty then. I survived. They survived. Mama's going for it. That's right. And and, and just is Denise coming with you? Oh, I wish. One of them is that one and done. Like I was telling you, they invited me, so I'm, you know, coming in that and leaving the next morning. It doesn't make uh, any sense. It, 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 is it is it like a guest thing for you? Yes, just, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just okay. me representing the audio branch with all these other authors so so that's um, cool that, that that's that that can be that that can be a very lucrative part of the of the yeah yeah you're, I mean, you're like yes hoping, yeah so I mean, can, you know, he's like hey let me show you let me yeah. show you that <laughs> yeah so i mean go go have fun and go do your thing and, and i mean again this is this is normal and especially again if you're going back on stage or on screen or yeah. like whatever you choose to do you're gonna have moments where you're just not there as much and like I said, and they'll be okay. And, and they'll, nice. be, they'll be okay. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you know? they always need you and you forget that. You think, oh, well, they don't need me anymore. And you're like, no, no, no. It's good for them to not need you as much because it means that you equipped them with a sense of security and love and confidence that they need to be okay with you leaving and, and coming back. And, and also be independent, which is which is yeah. ultimately the goal. Like, yeah. like yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's what you want. You want these independent, confident, you know, compassionate, productive, you know, little members of society. Yeah. No. So I and, and like I said, that that's the, that's the goal. Like I, I actually joke that 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 the, the when you have kids, the war is really simple. They are trying to take over the house. Your job. Your job is to True. be right. Your job is to. to well, yeah, no, but your job. That's, true. Is, that's it, why you're the writer, because that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but your job is to stop them until they're actually <laughs> ready to, to, until they're actually ready to do it. Like, right? So when you start, when you start, you, 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 you love them, but you also got to be a bit of a tyrant. And as I get older, you're like, well, I don't have to be the tyrant quite so much now. I can be, I can just love you, and I can let you go out there and and learn, right? right? And then eventually there comes a point where they're like, Mama, we could. We're, we're ready to take over the house now. And then you're like, well, shit, they are ready to take over the house now, <laughs> right, 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 right. And, and that's and that's that's it, right? Like, like you don't want to do it too soon because you do it too soon, um, then they're not ready and you're not ready, and that ends very poorly. Right. So again, it, it, that that's the thing. It's like they're trying to take over, and your job's not to let them until they they're ready, actually ready to do it. That. So you're gonna yeah. Make it great yeah. For when you have kids. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll be good. I think I think I think I'll be good. I'll be I'll be like I'll be like old and wise and probably and probably wondering, like like so. I, my secret hope is that they're they're not quite like my sister. So my sister gets this like look in her eyes when she's up to something. And you're like <laughs> oh, she's like oh shit. Like yep. you just you just see that look. You're like, what are you up to? Yeah. What, what, what are you talking about? No, don't, 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 don't bullshit me, sis. I know you're up to something. What are you doing? It's You'll that see. mischief. It's the mischief in their eyes, and you know it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. And sometimes, and sometimes you just. What did you just do? Or it's way too quiet, and you come in, and you're like, "What's going on here?" With with with, with her, it's just there's a look in her eyes, and I see it. I'm just like, "Oh shit." That's it. Oh shit! Literally, it's like, oh shit, she's up to something. And sometimes it's like, sometimes it's genuinely clever. I say this with all with love. Sometimes it's just love. Yeah. Oh hey, listen, big brother, little sister. You 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 you've seen you've seen you've seen her. You've seen them, right? And so, um, it's one of those things. So so now knowing my luck, now knowing my luck, how genius will reward me is I will have athletic kids because I will I'll be so I'll be completely out of my element going. (laughs) Right, I'll be completely out of my element. Because see that that that's, again, it's one of those things. I like like I I somehow see again. I truly do believe God has a sense of humor. I truly 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 do, and yeah. and, and, and and I think I think that um, sometimes God will just put you in a position, just to just to see just to like how you do. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Sure. And, and, and you're like and you're like, thanks God. I think. 
right, but, right, right, and 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 and, and you know, if they're if they're if they're if sons, I'll be like, okay, I have at least some idea what I'm doing here. And if they're daughters, I'll be like, I I, I I'm clueless. And they'll probably have me wrapped around the and they'll probably have me wrapped around their finger too, because I oh, I don't doubt it. Oh, and yeah, the girls yeah. do. They have daddy wrapped around that finger. Absolutely, da daddy's Don't like, I'll protect They're you. They're afraid of me. They'll be like, mommy, please don't take this away. Please don't. Like, oh, so you're the back. I don't punish them. They look at me as if I did punish them. They're like, but mommy, please don't. Like, See, you're, but again, the bad guy by necessity, right? Because again, oh, you yeah. have to, the mother, yeah. I mean, okay, obviously not all families, but most of the families that I know, the mother is a disciplinarian and she's gotta be the bad guy. You know, for lack of a better way to say, yeah. got to uh, It's yeah, not so fun. She makes you brush your teeth, brush your hair, go to bed on. You know, like all the things that are like that. Get dressed. All the things that are net. Like they want to run around naked sometimes, and it's like, no, you need to get dressed. Like for the love of all that's holy, put on clothes. That's right. Then uh, yeah, because it, it, I so I have a buddy man. Last time I saw him, like when I was in London, Ontario, he's got his daughter, and I watched the, I watched I watched them like their interaction. He he would growl at her kind of like a grizzly bear for the first two or three minutes. And then uh -huh. afterwards you just sit there, settle in. And I'm like, I watched this and it's like, I looked at him. She owned you. Like yeah. she completely, she completely, totally. owned, she, she completely, totally. <coughs> he looked at me. He's like, no, she's like, oh yeah, she does. She, just, she, she, she knows, she already knows how to deal with you. It's like, what yep. do you mean? She handles she, you. Yeah, she handles you. She handles you perfectly. Uh, I, I I watched I watched okay and and her, and and his son okay his son was awesome, so so while while him and 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 them are fighting over a toy at at at, at I can't remember what, what store we were shopping at so there's there's a place in London called Fast Eddie's it's it's in the, like a McDonald's light okay so so so, so I, I I I had a hunch as where this was going to go he goes so the son like who's like six goes to me I got this let's order something. And I'm like, that's in my head. In my head, I'm like, I'm paying for this. But you know <laughs> what? I'm I'm gonna play along. I want to see what happens. Yeah. I just want to see what happens. So he orders, and I order, and, and, and he's like, yeah, he does, he almost does this little act of like, I don't have money, and I'm like, of course you don't have money. Of course you don't. But I I I, I knew I knew this up front. To the point, like, like when, when uh, my buddy shows, like, listen, I'm so sorry. It's like, don't, don't be sorry. I, I, I knew that I knew where this was going. Like, right. like, like three minutes into this, I, I, it's like, why'd you let it happen? It's like, I, I just want to see what you would do. I, I was, I, like, he had me genuinely curious, right, right. Yeah. He had me, genu he had me genuinely does, curious. Really? Does he have any money in that pocket? Did Daddy give him any money? Yeah, well, I, I, he offered. I'm like, okay, I gotta see this. I, I have to see this. I right? got this. Come with me. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was it. Like we get, we get, we're there. But we gotta wait for them for like a few minutes. I'm like, yeah. Like I, I was initially gonna actually. You know, here's the thing. I was initially gonna offer to get him some to eat. Sure, but he actually, sure. Right, but he he actually beat me to the punch. We get there. It's like, yeah, let's order something. I'm like, awesome. and then he goes, I'm buying. I'm like, That's okay. Cute. And then I'm like, I gotta see this. I, oh. I have to. I have to see this. I I want in my head. I'm like, you're paying for this, but that's okay. I'm like. I, I I just want to see where it goes. I'm all right. Right. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes kids surprise you in good and bad ways. If you True. had paid, if you had paid for it, I'm like, well, shit. Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. If you had found a way to pay for it, I didn't think that was what, what was going to happen. Right, you. right. But but that that hey, listen, he legitimately had me curious. He legitimately had me curious. I'm like, I'm in. I I don't care what happens here. I'm in. Yeah. Right. So I ended up buying him a burger, which is okay. Which is just, right, right, which is okay to me. You're a goner. Just, You're a goner. Yeah. Well, it's just, just no, again, I, I, I am just a big enough man. It's like I, okay, you have me curious. I want to see what happens. I just like, what do you think? I think this is going to be a car crash. But, but, but. but There's just, this like, put all this stuff in the Amazon cart. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now again, the other thing too, it's not my kid. Right. No, if I, it was if it was my kid, yeah, I'd be I, I I might I might have a slightly dip. Okay, let's be honest. If the kid if my kid offered to pay, I I would I'd be just as curious. I'm not gonna. Of lie. course you would. You'd be yeah. Like, let's see how this works out. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be just as curious. Like, let's see how You're this like, plays. Want to buy? I was like, oh, you do. And where are you? Where's where are you gonna get the money? Well, you have it. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So I, I, I just, I just wanted to see it, right? I, I, I would be, I'd be in for the ride. But again, if it was my kid, I would have to be again because I, when it's your kid, you have to be the disciplinary. Yeah, right? it's your job. It's your job. But every once in a while, you can see us. I'm, I'm going to be one of those parents to be like, my kid's going to say something. I'm going to listen to it. I'm like, okay, I got to see us. I, 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 I'm, I, 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 and I will like, we'll hear him talking, and we'll look at each other and be like, all right, wait for it. Yeah. Wait. For <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, you want to see how it shakes out? How's this gonna play out? I gotta see this before yeah. I. Yeah, it's like we 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 can interfere, but this is way too fun. Let's let's just see let's just see what happens, right? And 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 sometimes, man. And but again, sometimes kids generally surprise you. Sometimes they pull something out of their hat, and you're like, you know, I didn't see that coming. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've, I've thought I, I was talking, you know, we have to talk about it privately because it's usually something not good, but we're like, yeah, we, that was clever. That was really yeah. good the way they spun that whole thing. And then they went over there and hid and we didn't know it. And then they were, were using the computer in another room and we had no idea. They were was not supposed to like, you know what I mean? Like the orchestrated, they had him go downstairs and they were upstairs. So he didn't know what was happening. And then they worked together. You got to give him props for working the system, for working, <laughs> got to give him props for being clever enough to formulate an entire plan of how it was all going to go down. Yeah. Uh, and now you just remind me, I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm my sister's story again. So she took a, took a blank page and you're like, there's all these scribbly lines. Okay. And my father goes to there, her, you cannot be a truck driver. It's one thing you didn't want her to be. So he goes through does all the scribbles, puts his line in here. Dad, sign this. And Dad was like, yeah, okay, sure, I'll sign this. What did I sign? He just gives me permission to be a truck driver. You just have this look on his face of like, I just been, I, she, she she just had me. I just been had by my daughter, right? No, it, it, that. She had the real form, it doesn't get. Yeah, no, it's like, like that's the, like, yeah. like, you look at that and go, wow, right, wow. Right, no, kids, kids are clever. Like they are genuinely clever. And if you get them, they will, they will, um, and, uh, and again, they're gaming the system. Like, it sounds to me, it sounds to me like, I mean, your kids keep you on your toes. Oh my gosh. No. And it's so cool too, because like, um, I'm going to brag about them for a little bit. Uh, sure. like, um, I don't know how much time we have, but I, uh, they're publishing their first book. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, I feel, I, yeah. I feel... They together wrote this story. It was inspired by this like cat toy that stretches. Mm -hmm. And they just started playing with it. And the next thing you know, they're illustrating and they have, you know, words on each. It's like 34 pages or something. It's this adorable little book called Stretchy Kitty. And it's like, this is the kitty in this pose. And it's got all this humor and everything. And it's so stinking cute. I showed it to some authors when I was at Reader's Day. She's like, this is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so. I, well, I have some friends who they're, um, they formatted it and they're um, sending it, um, uh, uh, sending like 10 copies bound, like real bound copies. So it's their book. They have an about author page. They did it all. And it's got like a thank you for reading this book at the end. And nice. so stinking cute. And then we're going to put it on them. Um, uh, uh, we have a friend who's going to help us get it on. I think it's KDP kids, kids, uh, something pub direct publishing. So it's just okay. kids for, um, on Amazon. Oh, so people uh, buy it if they wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So, cute? So, so, so now I feel very, they're nine years old. <sighs> Next. Yeah. I, I feel, I, I feel inadequate now. I feel, oh, right. But, exactly. They're already published. Like well, they don't have, old. it's not like they have an agent or anything. I mean, they just, you know, and they well, just have you know, fun. It, it, but, 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 but you never know where it leads, right? If somebody get an agent. I'm like, listen, you are very funny. <laughs> you are like, it's out loud. She, there was a girl, she's an introvert. And I just mean that, um, She's sort of very quiet and, you know, doesn't smile a ton. And she was an author that I met there. And she was like laughing out loud at some of the stuff because it's just funny. It's yeah. just cute and funny. And, and you know, it, it's like little kids might really get a kick out of this, you know, because it's yeah. just silly. Yeah. And, and I just and love their ferocity and the courage. Like, I'm going to freaking write a freaking book. You know, I'm going to yep. illustrate my own with my sister and people are going to want to hear it. And I'm like, you go like, you. and they did a talent show and they sang girl on fire and they were brought the 
freaking house down. I was like the confidence that they had at that age to get up on stage. I mean, I had severe stage fright. Sometimes still do. <laughs> severe stage fright, like shaking. Like, you know, in on <coughs> everything. People told me to take beta blockers because I was like this. But anyway, to get up there and sing a cappella, sing an Alicia Keys song and do it so well that people are coming up to them afterward and telling them how talented they are and they can't even take it. They can't take the any of it. They're just like, just want to, you know, go somewhere, get out of there and I, um, so, so, so they're old enough to get imposter syndrome, but they, uh, but they're, but they're, but they're young enough not to be frightened on stage. Isn't that incredible? I yeah. just it's amazing. I don't know. I just and that, that they were up this. I'm like, Kali day. I don't know. I'm so proud. I'm just a proud mama. <laughs> you should be. You should be. I mean, that that's amazing. Um, I actually had a friend of mine. His daughter was 10 years old when she published a book. I actually interviewed her for the show. Actually. No way. Yeah. Oh. I did. No, no, she's my youngest interview at the time. You know, she's a lot. She's a little older now. She's she's still she's a teenager now. Um, but she was uh, when, ten. She was ten. Yeah. yeah. So I've interviewed. I interviewed a fifteen-year-old pop singer. I've interviewed like 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 I have dealt with kids that could do incredible things. Like I don't doubt anyone. Like it doesn't matter how old they are. If, if sure. you want to go, if you go, how young or how old, if you're going to go out there and just say here I am to the world now. Your kid, now your kids, you gotta teach them how to take praise. It's okay to take some praise. As we talked about that, where I'm like, you have to say thank you. Or you have to say, you know, because they're like, Mom, and, I, don't, I don't, you know, and I'm like, just say thank you. It's okay. They want and, to share with you how how um, how they felt about it. Like I was crying. I, I, I mean, the camera. I'm trying to film them, and it's like at least on the video, it doesn't look as bad. But I was like this and just bawling because I know I'm like. They have real skill. In fact, the talent agent wanted to represent them. Yeah. So, so it, it, it's not what they want to do, obviously. But yeah. I didn't want, yeah, I didn't want it for them. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. Now, if they if they came to you and said, "Hey, mom, we want this," what would you do? That's different. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be different, and we'd have a really long talk about it, and I tell them what it's going to involve and what it means, and it'd be a different thing, a very no, different thing. No, it's fair. It's fair. Yeah. Miss Marty, I think I think we've had a wonderful chat. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I so hope this... so. Sorry about all the trucks. Wait one second. Let me. No, it's all good. It's all good. I can't. I don't even know where the mute button is. Okay. It's all good. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I I I expected the expected your kids to come take over the show at some point. That didn't happen. Oh, so. No, Daddy was here. So. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So listen, congratulations on everything. Again, um. <coughs> with what's next with your career, have fun. Like, it sounds like you're you're ready you're ready you're ready for that. So yeah. have some fun. Um, at some point when you're a little farther down the road, if you decide if you decide to want more, set the goal. But Hell until yeah. then, until yeah. then, have right. a blast. Have a blast. I will. Right. And you too. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be. It's going to be. It's a matter of time now. Like you said, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go. So. Awesome. How how can people find you? Uh, so they can go to um, either my uh, my company's website, which is www.audiosorceress.com, or if they just want to see me personally, I have my own website apart from Audio Sorceress. It's just marnyyoung.com. Super okay. simple. There we go. And see I'm kind of everywhere because I do that on purpose. Spent years networking, building relationships. Oh, well, so it's I'm pretty it's much important. all over. It's 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 the nature of the beast. It's it the is nature of the beast. You it have is. to. You do. You do. Unless you know someone who knows someone, you gotta just keep hustling. You oh, and, and, and even if you know someone who knows somebody, you got you still gotta keep hustling. It's just the way it's just yeah. the, the way it is. All right, folks. All right. Wrap, the, wrap this bad boy up. These are my advertising services. If you want to make video I make audio, video, words, and pictures about your products and yourselves, so you can have to take a look right now. And that'll do it. I don't have my schedule set for next week, folks, because I my my sidekick is in playoff mode. The Calgary Flames may or may not make the playoffs. So until I know for sure, I haven't been able to really set a full schedule. But I'm going to stay tuned for some really cool things coming down the pike uh, for Marnie and for myself. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Uh, stay inspired. Keep shining in the dark. And I'll see you guys next time.